Retard. 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 <laughs> Lol, yeah, what a surprise. <laughs> surprise stream. Yeah, welcome back. Right, so let's see what uh, this stream has uh, in store for us, Kappa. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, um, keep your fingers crossed. We won't have any major issues this time. Um, right, let me go to live weather. Although this afternoon when I tried... Um, there was some, there was some, uh, bad weather. Right, let me see why I don't have control over the, yeah, it's fine, I know. Um, so let's have a look, just make sure that we have these axes running. Control options. So that's fine. That is set up. Search by input. Yeah, that's working. And then uh, there's a post. Oh, there's one missing. That's why. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, keep default. Yes, please. Thank you. So let's see. Yeah, that's working again. Perfect. Right. You can see the weather really isn't that brilliant. Um, so regarding that river visual, I think what we're going to do is switch to... Can somebody do me a favor? Can somebody type in exclamation mark meta and then kilo India delta alpha? No, kilo India alpha delta. Kia tequila in the Alpha Delta. That would be great. <laughs> Everybody's spamming. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see if we get weather info. There we go. So, Washington, you've got... Oh, actually, not, not bad. It's scattered 4,700 and then overcast 7,000. So that is not that bad, actually. So we should be all right. No, not really. Okay, so no. No, that should be... I don't think it's a, com it's a uh, moderator-only command. No. <laughs> exactly, Nightbot's just taking his time. Completed. Oh, we need to change the sim title. Can order my dear, dear moderators, please, please, please put exclamation mark overlay sim and change it to Microsoft Light Sim with the DC6, please. Thank you. Oh, I need to. Oh, I forgot something. <gasps> Is it me? I have to. Do I have to do something here? Closed. Door warning lights. Out. Gear pins. Removed. Three on board. Thank you much, guys. Belts and pedals. Adjusted. Throttles. Is that normal? I've never seen that red light there. Right. Cool. I need your help, guys. So, starting engines. Um, let's see. So, that's all prepared. That's both. Um, that is on... Huh? Booster low? Is that... Yeah, booster low. Okay. Uh, then that is selected to three. 
All right, we'll do that. So once he calls out Three. 12. Six. Nine. Right, uh. Oh, what they have? <laughs> what they have to hit again? Hang on, what they need? Huh? Huh? I thought I need to hit a switch or something. I'm confused. It's just a visual route, guys. Uh, so we're going to take off and then visually go to the river. Hold on! Didn't I used to have to do something? I used to have to go do this. That, and then. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. So, so we need to prime, etc. So. Now, for example, we go to four. Boost pump to low. That goes to both. Wasn't there a switch down below somewhere? Yeah, you put the, the, the fuel lever to on, don't you? That has to be done. I know that all that all has to be done. Oh, yeah, Prime and Boost. Yeah, you're right. Those two have to be switched on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. That's the one. There we go. So we put this and this on. Yeah, that's it. Right, same procedure now for the rest. So we're going to put this to both. That goes prime. That goes to number two. Let's start. Oh, and I forgot something. Hold on. Nope, there's another switch. Another switch. Stop that again. Yeah, we've got to prime the, uh, the fuel here. <laughs> we outsmarted the engine. We outsmarted the engine there. Right, anyways, uh, so that, that, that. Jeez. Right, then we'll tell the uh, flight engineer to do after starts. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, I guess that's just the inaccuracies, isn't it? Regarding the add-ons, I mean... But hey, I don't mind. We've got the engines running. The focus is on the, um, on the approach anyways. Good, so we've done the after starts. And uh, what I can do... Actually, no, I don't want... Yeah, well, maybe I do. Flight plan. Let's go. Let's put that one as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If it works, don't ask why it's working. Just accept it. One thing, though, I've not flown it for a while, but those red lights, it says flight instrument power failure. So I'm just wondering. Plane battery, battery, that's all correct. That's all fine. Yeah, I mean, they are working. Uh, so, kind of strange, though. Right. Uh, we'll taxi out. Sounds are great, though. Love the sounds. Right, brakes. Brakes are working. And I think we're already at the runway, are we? Yeah, we... I think so. So I had a very uh, good parking spot. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to depart. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, Washington Airport. So we are somewhere here. Are we? Hang on. Oh, uh, 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 uh. oh okay. The instruments aren't working. Right. We need an expert who can help us with the instruments. Guys, anybody know the uh, DC-6 really well? I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's um Hey Air Hunter, well I, I load up the aircraft in cold and dark. We started the before start, and I just saw that uh, the flight instrument power failure light is on. So, I'm looking for the the switch that turns on the power. Fernando, first of all, thank you so much for joining the community as well, Razi. Thank you. And uh, there was one question. There was one question. Uh, why do we land with manual thrust? Well, in the A320, there's different SOPs for different uh, companies. The lower aft, okay. Oil tank. Engines, bar. Inverters, engine. And oh, hey, there we go. So that is... That's normal. Uh, yeah. Oh, 
Ah, that fixed it. I pressed ready for taxi. And now it's all good. Now we have a right heading indication. Fantastic. Yeah, one line left as expected. So there we are, one line left. And we're going to depart to the south. And uh, then we're going to loop around a bit. And so what I'm aiming for is a point at the river. Round about 10 miles from the Ronald Reagan Airport. So we're going to do the river visual. So I'm going to dial in that VUR. Um, and so roughly, I would say that's about 345 or something, or 350 radio. So I'm going to try to find that bridge. Um, and trying to find that waypoint Fergie. I mean, if we if we were really clever and if we could uh, find the find a way to program the GPS, so direct select a waypoint. Let's see if we can actually find that. That would actually help. So just initial waypoint, that's all really we want. 30. Hey Mark, how are you doing? I hope you had a great day. No, well, no, it's a visual approach. So if it says visual approach, it can't be a uh, instrument approach. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So there we go, Fergie, G-I. I wonder if it's actually in. Oh, it is. Right, let's see. 12 miles, yeah, that's about right. I would say that's probably about right. So that's uh, track 91. Um, so yeah, why not? Let's do this. Cool. No, so, so what will happen when you... Always, so what happens is that you have an IFA flight plan. At some point, you get to clear, clear to Fergie. And then the controller would say, from Fergie, clear the river, river visual approach. So you're still under IFR, yeah. So radar control is still looking after you and separating from other aircraft. But um, you're flying the approach complete. No, 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 you don't cancel IFR. No, don't get that confused. Um, you're still going to be under IFR control, meaning the controller is still responsible for separating you to other aircraft. But you are flying the approach visually um just like a circling approach for example all right a circling approach is also a visual maneuvering procedure but you, you don't cancel ifr for flying a, a circling approach don't get that confused but normally so you don't normally file an approach you file a star but you don't file an approach procedure so you don't put in your flight plan um, star such and such followed by the ILS 2 to left or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, separate that. Yep. So why don't I have the... Indications. So there we go. Right, I'll be ready. Let's do this. Let's go. Ah. I know Aviator, yeah, there's lots of uh, testers at the moment flying around. 
Yes, full power, please. Here we go. Full power set. Thank you. 100 knots. Alright, let's start rotating. Let's get this beauty off the ground. Oh, lovely. Bit of trim. Nice. Gear up. Gear side, get up. Oh yeah. It's a nice little turn there. Nice. Let's accelerate. Let's retract the flaps. Hey MCK, take care. Mass good. Right, flaps. Half been retracted. Alright, let's go 2,000 feet, shall we? Wow, those clouds look actually really, really low. They don't look like 4,000 feet to me. Climb power set. Have to take off checklist, please. So let's have a look. Right, we're on GPS. Uh, so if I dial this to 091 or something in that, in that region, we should have... Uh, a centered somewhere in there. There we go. All right, so I'm going to try to track towards that waypoint, and also let's dial in the raw data indication. So we want uh, 111.0. All right. So there we go, that's the airport, and I want the, well, we should have, uh, we should have an indication there regarding, um, DME at least, which is a shame. Yeah, it should have a DME. Yeah, of course, Aviator. You know, once uh, the shared flight app is released, I'm definitely uh, up for many shared flights. Absolutely. Right, I'm always going to do this already. Let's do the uh, descent. Inches, Let's start uh, slowing inches. down. Now, some of you that are knowledgeable regarding the area here, we are looking for a bridge. Is that the bridge there? Or is that the, the next one? 26 inches set. So we got four miles, 92 track. Yeah, I think so, 92 track. Oh, careful. It's not safe. So recommended 3,000 there at the bridge. Yeah, of course, Aviator, absolutely. Don't worry, yeah, I'd love to. Okay, so that's going to be the bridge i think that's the bridge referred to as the american legion memorial bridge there and i guess that's the american memorial or something there correct me if i'm wrong right so we're only about 10 miles out And you can see already the uh, downtown Washington. Um, no smoking signs. On. But how cool! You actually fly along this river. How cool is that? All right. Cool. All 
So I'm just going to slow down here already. So 1800 at the next bridge. That's going to be... I'm just a bit confused why I don't have a DME distance. Oh, I do. Eight miles. Disregard. That's number two then. All right, some rain showers. GG's. So eight miles. So six miles, which should be at 1800 feet. So we continue. <laughs> Mind river visual, yeah. I'm just going to slow down now, get some flaps out. 2,800 feet at 6 miles. So we're coming up 7 miles. Right. you got to love the weather here. But I can still faintly see the river, so we continue visually. Although, I'll tell you what we'll do, guys. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's do this. It doesn't make sense to, to fly this in this bad weather. We want to see something, don't we? Right, we actually can see the runway already. Right, there we go. So six miles, 1800, and then we continue down. So we'll, we'll continue to follow the river. And again, the landing is 1-9. It's not this runway. It's the other runway. So we we'll just continue down. Three miles at uh, about 900. Come on, get down. Thank you. Right, three miles, nine hundred. Some more flaps. He did not switch the engines off. He did not. <laughs> We're going down. No. <laughs> Lol. Why did he switch off the engines for crying out loud? Lol. <laughs> he just switched off the engines. Thank you. Thank you so much, my dear flight engineer. You're fired. No, we had full tanks. We had uh, we had enough fuel. Lol. Okay. Well, that's that's one way of doing it. No, we had no. F what? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Right. So. So, guys, who forgot to put in fuel? Right, who who can I blame? Come on, let me know. Who forgot? <laughs> I can't have this. Guys, you can't let me take off with that much fuel. Ah, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right. Right, we'll do it again. Well, I said Chishka. I didn't. I didn't plan on actually swimming to the to the airport. I actually wanted to to land there. Right. Let's try that again. Maybe maybe be going uh, before takeoff. Although it doesn't make make sense, does it? So I pressed the ready for takeoff button. And why would it put in so so little fuel? I 
But great timing. Pilsner, we're in Microsoft. What do you expect? We're in Microsoft Lights in. Let's put that at. That looks nice. All right, so let's have a look. Cool. On the runway. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So here's the deal. You can you can have a look at the video on demand. I checked the fuel. So when I was actually looking at the fuel page, that is what I saw, and I thought, hmm, that's pretty heavy. But I said, well, it doesn't matter. We can still do it. Um, and then we pressed. Yeah, we pressed uh, ready for taxi. And I don't know why it would delete the fuel. It doesn't really make sense, does it? Hey, Nick, thanks so much, Nick, for becoming a member. <laughs> thanks so, so much. I hope you're enjoying the content, even though it's a bit silly at the moment, but... It will become serious again. Right, well, let's put in 10,000. 10,000 pounds is fine. That should be good. Right. Cool. On the runway. Uh, let's put in Fergie again in here, shall we? So let's put direct to... So Fergie... But I didn't, I didn't rec or didn't realize that you can actually land on water. So it doesn't like ditch the aircraft. You can actually land on water here. How cool is that? Enter, enter, enter. Alrighty, and 11.0. Ah, oh, that's why. A jelly water. So that's number one set. I remember now. 11.0. There we go. And now if you go to DME1, that's it. You will get a proper readout, hopefully. 190. That looks good. All right. Off we go. Let's try again. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's uh, if it's entertaining, that's good. Then that's fine. <laughs> but I realized when I heard the engines go out, I said, well, that's it. There's no way we can recover from that. Okay. Landing in water only works if you have crash damage switched off. Okay. And again, why is he not putting what max power? Yeah, one thing you have to be really careful here is I can see that gust lock is still in. Uh, if you spawn in somewhere on the runway, you got to be really careful. The 
Is there a way to get the gust lock off here, guys? By any chance? How do you get that? Where's the click spot for it? left on the console. Yeah, in a minute. Uh, let me just try to find the, the gust lock. Uh, which one then? No, that's not it. That bracket over the knob. Yeah, I know. It's just something, I don't know what it is. Well, Chris says good night to you. Take care. You know, that's the frustrating thing sometimes with these add-ons is that I would, I would uh, expect if you use a flight engineer and if you say, hey, you know, I may have skipped the after start or something but hey i want to you know go somewhere like cruise power now yeah why why are the switches then still so weird that you can't have full power on all engines it just doesn't make sense to me cruise power, please. Cruise power. yeah so like why is it doing that Okay, so now he's doing that. Alright, let's try that. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's It just doesn't make sense. Now I've got manual power, but... Yeah, but I mean, it works with other add-ons. For example, when you when you say, you know, like now, uh, so I'm going to set the state to ready to taxi. All right, so I'm going to set I'm setting that ready to taxi. All right, and then I would say before start. No, it's actually uh, up before takeoff. Forward pressure quantity checked. Okay. Flat 
Yeah, we should be back. Right. Can you still see the picture, guys? Is that working for you? Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Yeah, I just had a message from OBS that uh, it stopped streaming, but it didn't. Oh, that's weird. Thank you much. Thanks for the feedback. Right. So while the engineer is doing that again, let's see if we can do that. Direct to... All right, before take of checks completed. So I would assume it will work. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks for feedback. Right, for G. And I will check the fuel before we take off. <laughs> All right. Live from the, or learn from the mistakes. There we go. All right. So Fergie direct. Uh, we're on GPS, and we've got a fuel. Let's put a little bit less in. We're a bit heavy for that. So let's put about ten thousand pounds. Right. That should be fine. And I'm going to set one hundred and eleven point zero. Transfer, there we go. And we're good to go. Three inches stabilize. Three inches stabilize. Why doesn't he go? Isn't that weird? Why well, I'm selecting flaps and doesn't show me any flap position. I, I said something bugged in the aircraft. No, it's got no flaps. Bloody hell. You know what, I have a feeling that there's some something wrong with the installation of the aircraft. I mean, I updated today, but... Doesn't seem right. Okay, I said uh, last time you had uh, no hydraulic pressure, couldn't figure out why, okay. Uh, so I'm just saying that um, hydraulic, can I show you the picture? Then maybe you can find out whether or not, well, that's on, isn't it? That would be off, That's so that's on, that's not the reason. Yeah, that's true, the gear wouldn't come up either, would it?
So there's the river, what we're flying towards. We're 14, 15 miles from the field. Cruise power is set. It could be a bug in the aircraft, really, on the add-on. Who knows? I mean, the rest is working fine. It's... Oh, look at that. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No. no, the aircraft is bugged. Look at the fuel. Now, there's something seriously wrong with the add-on. I'm sorry. Today is like Friday 13th for me regarding streaming. My God. What is this? <laughs> right. Um, right. What we'll do is the following. I'm just trying to think, yeah, it's it's bugged. And again, I can I can promise you, I pressed on updates of PMDG um, op center. I pressed update aircraft, and it said no updates available. It it says uh, we're supposed to go to uh, Phoenix. Yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could. Guys, um, what I'll do is the following. Um, we're going to fly the fly-by-wire mod on uh, the next stream. So I'm going to have that installed. And we'll do that visual approach then with the uh, A320. Um, I think that's the easiest thing to do. Which uh, would then be quite interesting to fly this with a nice... Uh, yeah, nice jet. Yeah, we'll do that then. I'll promise you that uh, for... Thursday. Uh, now we're going to go into the Kodiak. Um, however, I need to do the following. I need to see if Reynolds has um, some infos regarding the sceneries that I may need to activate. Uh, Reynolds, can you come into Discord, please? Did you follow the Op Center update instructions published last week by PNBG? Well, what's that to, to do? I mean, the op center updates itself, and then you go into the op center and you you press update. I mean, is there anything else I need to do? Like, hello, Reynold. Good evening. Hi. Okay, so let's start the Norwegian tour and uh, I just need to pick up um, the airport that we started off from and then I need to see um, where we're flying to and the if it has an add-on scenery yes okay um, the first one where we take off has an add-on scenery mm -hmm. um, you should activate it um, unfortunately next both do not have any okay but you planned but for, for, for an RNP approach didn't you yeah, the RNP approach can we, we can do uh, to Eno, mm -hmm. not Totten Airport. This is uh, over next one, uh, the third one. Okay. But for this, uh, we don't have um, um, freeware. There is an orbit scenery if you like to buy and install mm. it very quickly. Now nah, we'll do the, the standard, and I think it's fine. Uh, so we're going Echo November Kilo Juliet to Echo November. Um, Romeo Kilo, correct? Yeah, correct. Kilo, yes. Don't forget the um, smart cars. Yep. So I have to start my simulator very quickly because I installed the scenery just now. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. I just find it so funny that uh, 
you know you you think you have an off center and and it updates and so on and you think you're doing it all correct and then yeah then you find out from people saying no it's on the forums uh so me as a customer i have to read forums now in order to update it a product i mean it's it's becoming ridiculous in that sense it's just becoming a bit too much really for for consumers i think so that's all started Yeah, I don't know. I don't have you know how to feel about this. It's it's like I'm a customer. I bought a product from them. It's a software product, and you know, just make sure that you you have you know if if there are updates, I get notified, and then I I have an update center, and then I update. Right? You can't expect customers to go search through forums, read through forum posts to find the right link. To then find the right procedure to update their product how stupid is that it's sorry for raging but that's just really really weird it's normal in flight simming black box flight simming is uh 40 percent flying 60 percent uh fixing i think it's even more for me at the moment it's like it's like 90 percent fixing and 10 percent flying oh how have you gotten your uh, p3d working now um, yeah. I had I installed Windows 10 on another hard drive. Oh, okay. So believe it or not, it's the same hardware, it's the same BIOS settings, but Windows 10, and everything runs fine. Well, we had the a crash. Is on the on the same uh, um, SSD? No, it's a different SSD. Yeah, perhaps this is it. Well, but then why do all the other programs work? Why you know why is there no other issues with you know with any other oh, software? I don't know. Yeah, it's so weird. It's I don't know. It's I did not see any notification in the Ops Center, no. But then again, SSK, what's the point? What's the point of having an update software? Yeah, look, it says you have no notifications. Product updates check now check now no updates necessary you tell me yep. you tell me why you know what am i doing Perhaps wrong the bug is uh, uh has to do with the update of the flight simulator last week and um p3d uh, and pmdg needs to do some fixing but they haven't right now hmm. i guess <laughs> but how cool that bug is so you can't set full power really or you can't move the flaps or um you fly and suddenly it drains the fuel like <laughs> what kind of a bug is that man if that continues with the 737 then we're in for a treat aren't we blimey i mean it's a different situation for the developers um, in p3d they um, made an add-on, they published the add-on, and then they had um, th then they had time to do some other things, and they had don't had uh, didn't have the problem um, uh, that the simulator has an update every two weeks, and they have to fix something in the add-ons uh, that they will still work with the new version. Hmm. <laughs> Right, so I just checked. There's no update for the uh, the um, what's it called NX NGXI or something. The Garmin. Right, so yeah, I definitely did a little break from flight simming next two days, guys. Like I said, I've been doing so much troubleshooting. Tip for me, Blackbox. There is a search bar when you tip in. Uh, Click in and tip Cody, and you have it very quickly. Okay. Which one are you taking, uh, Reynolds? 
Um, Olympic. I'm, us I'm, I'm using the Kodiak um, with the cargo pot. Okay. And with delivery from the missionary bush pilot. Okay. Kodiak with the cargo pot liveries. I'll just take a livery here. Let's take this one. Actually, which one did I have last time? When you installed the delivery from from the missionary bush pilot. Yeah, it's not showing up though. No. Right, we are going to Echo de Ember Kilo Juliet. So if anyone's still need a minute because uh, I hadn't expected that you are ready no so quickly no worries no worries all good um, so time are we taking live weather Reynold or what do you think? Uh, yes we can fly with live weather um, if we can do the last uh, step which I planned then we will do some uh, manual weather okay and uh, server West Europe is this the same? Yes. Okay. Yes. So if anyone does want to join, please feel free to do so. Uh, for the Kodiak, it can tie, take off with an RTG and some passengers or cargo. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. We'll go in uh, the sim and then we'll have a look for the the loading. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Uh, so, if I remember correctly, it's uh, yeah, it's just south of Gardaman Airport, so not far away from uh, Oslo Airport. Yeah, it's an Air Force Base. Nice. And we parked. Where did we park? Let's go ramp three here. So it's departure. Fly. Which uh, number three? Okay. <laughs> Flights and that. <laughs> I have no high expectations anymore. <laughs> I'm. I'm just, uh, yeah, a bit down regarding that uh, the issues I'm having. Man. Right. So. Um... Let's go live weather. Oh, it shows snow. Okay, it's interesting. Nice. Have you had any snow this year, Black Rocks? No, literally none. It's so weird. Yeah, for me the same. I I didn't saw any snowflake here in Cologne. Crazy. It's the first winter. Yeah. <laughs> Magus, I wish. Oh man, you, you know, I would eat a whole packet just you know within seconds. Uh. Are you fasting again, Blackbox? No, 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 no. Uh, no. Okay. No, it's just saying that gummy bears would help. With the frustrations. So, sim is started. Mm -hmm. Let's oh, go. I'm already in. Um, cool. So, let's have a look for the checklist. All right, control locks off. Yeah, that is off. Parker brick set. Let's have a look. Is set. All the equipment off, circuit breakers all pushed in. Checked. Uh, fuel selector left hand, right hand on. On. Uh, fuel shut off valve open. Open. Fire exit was checked. Master switch on. Mm. 
Yeah, a Linux fan is audible. MFD initialize. Initialized. Fuel on board check. All right, so now we come to weight and balance. Let's have a look. <laughs> uh, so you said some passengers, correct? So a little bit more aft CG. That's what you wanted. Uh, uh, careful, black box. Careful with that. Okay. You will crash. Okay. Is somebody trying to meme me now? <laughs> yeah. After the CG is a crash in this air aircraft here. Okay. Right. Well, we're going to put in some passengers though. Let's put one there. Let's put one there. All right. Good. Right, let's check the fuel. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah, Oyster, it is it is challenging. I think, uh, wasn't it uh, Flying Fabio who crashed as well? Because CG being, yeah. being after His something. Yeah, first takeoff. Yeah. I guess you would have to be a bit faster. <laughs> no, all good, guys. All good. Right, so we've done all that. Checklist. Um, fuel on board check. Low fuel is off. And it would say master switch off again. Okay, flaps down. All right, I guess it would do the outset check and so on. Uh, trims takeoff. Peter heat on check working. Store warning test and so on. Master switch off. All right. Let's do before start. Although, I, yeah, let's. <sighs> What shall we do? Yeah, let's start the engine. Um, so battery powered engine start. Generator, no, that's good. Bus voltage check at least 24 volts. Uh, so that's 25 is checked. Yeah, it has. Yeah, it's texturing is lovely. Yeah, it's a good, uh, good de uh, system depth. Absolutely, yeah. Right, beacon. So let's put the beacon on, the nav lights on. Emergency power level normal. That's this one here, normal. Propeller clear. Right, mind your heads. Clear prop. Auxiliary fuel, fuel boost pump on. It's on. So what we want to do is ignition switch on and low so on for low motor start off for high start able to do a uh, low motor start it's ticked starter on and then things go quickly so starter on then um game checklist lol <laughs> what is that game checklist oil pressure so oil pressure yeah we check rising ng at least 14 percent and then fuel introduction um So fuel condition level low idle, then ITT monitor NG 52% monitor. All right, good. Yeah, average uh, donut, if you have a, a question, the best thing is if you put exclamation mark ask, and then I can see you, your uh, question on my uh, the monitor there. Good. Right, starter. Here we go, 14%. No, the starter needs to go up the switch, not down. The switch down is motor and up is start. Okay, then it's a bug because it's working. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Normally the starter uh, needs to switch, uh, the switch needs to go up. Okay. Right. Then let's check checklist. Then we've got 
Maybe someone knows how to start. All right. Uh, then we've got start. Uh, actually, let's do IT monitor NG. 52% minimum. Let's check. Yeah, 53.7 we have. Then we've got starter off. Starter off. Ignition off. And then we go prop max RPM. Um, are you going to fly the 757 United Battle of Grey? Uh, <coughs> no, I don't think so. So, it was a refuse pump. Standby. Generator on. Alternator on. Lights as required. And an avionics set. Uh, Brent, are you setting anything for the um, avionics, or is it just direct? No, you can set it, but you, there's something missing. Like, what you have that red boxes there is not normal. Oh yeah. I think you have missing uh, the avionics bus and yeah, the auxiliary yeah. bus yeah. Is still out. Oh. Yeah, it is on now. You can. Pr uh, the easiest one is to press on procedure on the proc, proc button. Mm -hmm. And then select approach. Uh, then you can. Yeah. On? Airport. Yeah. yeah. So that's. Active. Then you can can press on the on the, on the button on the top there near to the airport name. When 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 you selected this, it's enlightened. Then you can type in the airport name. Echo November Romeo Kilo. You can type like what when you selected the, the this button there. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, there. There we go, now it's highlighted. Yeah, okay, thanks. Echo November Romeo Kilo. Yes. Enter. And then you get visual. You yeah. can uh, select visual 15. Mm -hmm. And uh, then he asks you and then you will set straight. Right, it's visual, we don't need minimums. Yep. Okay. We don't have any minimums mm. for this airport. Oh. I pre select the altitude of 2500 already. Mm. Okay. Wow, it leaves a map there. Fantastic. And vertical speed, 1,000 feet for the moment. So then I'm pretty much ready. Okay, stand by. Uh, what are you doing? Like what? It didn't have a routing in it, so it, uh, it, it should. When mm -hmm. when you s uh, press on the pro pro uh, pro uh, procedure button and you fill out all the data, then you should have a complete flight plan. Nope, it had nothing in it. So okay, please uh, try again. Then oh. I will look what the, what the mistake was. Well, now it's all right. Now I've got destination. I can take visual straight. Enter, enter, enter. And uh, oh wait, maybe. Hang on. You uh, when you have this, then you need to uh, the, the dial was a big uh, dial down to load. Yeah, hang on. You forget to, to load. That's the problem. And uh, and uh, the big knob uh, go down to load. 
I'm trying. I'm doing this from memory. But last time, it's just I don't know. It's added some different or straight off enter. So load, right. Oops. Load or activate, yeah. And in this uh, case, you can use activate because we don't have any any root waypoints. Okay. So now we have a flight plan. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Ready. Okay. I will go first. Yep. Let's put uh, taxi light on. So mind your heads. There's Reynolds, fantastic. Like you can follow me directly on the runway. Mm -hmm. Then we do simultan takeoff. So taxing down to the other end and then Exactly. Cool. Hey, Winfried, danke schön. <laughs> so the weird thing is, I have a feeling that I've literally done nothing today apart from recovering from crash to desktops and uh, <laughs> troubleshooting and, and add-ons not working. Yeah, so hopefully these, these flights will now work. Good thing is you have three simulators. You can choose one of them, which mm. is working. I think explain is the one with uh, um, less problems. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Explain at the moment is, uh, I mean, it's not perfect, but yeah, that has the least bugs for me at the moment. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And oh, a shared flight is uh, nice. And a shared flight uh, is is a lot of fun, I have to admit. So hopefully. Oh yeah, there we are. So someone else joining. But is this full length already, or can we go down further? Yeah, but we can turn here, I think. Okay, yeah, that's all right. Okay. All right, I'll turn behind you. There's someone else coming. Uh. Captain Alex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Busy. <laughs> so, flaps one. So, let's have a look if everyone is ready. I taxi a little bit, then you can join on a runway. Yeah. So, how are there's someone with the DC six? Oh lord! Okay, GG's. Hope he updated his uh, DC six before flying. <laughs> just saying hopefully the runway is long enough for a dc6 here yeah. but it should be actually we can put this to max fuel there right there we go let's go wow he's already airborne Blimey. it's a kodiak yeah. my favorite air aircraft right now so i have to be careful be a bit faster yeah some rudder there we go gear up Some right rudder trim. There we go. We have one flaps going up. And we're flying. Oh, uh, Bernard, uh, someone sent me a link regarding VFR. Um, well, it's like VFR stuff. So you have some... Uh, some machinery stuff like um, power lines or uh, wind turbines and so on. Okay. Oh, interesting. Perhaps you can send it to me. Yeah. It's flightsim.to. Just uh, type in VFR, and there's uh, there should be three regions in the world. Ah, okay. And so nice. that that enhances uh, the ground uh, stuff. But this looks nice as well. Love it. 
Beautiful. Have you installed it? Yep. Yeah, solar farms, power lines. Um... <laughs> yeah, flats and dead, definitely. Yeah. It's looking good here, but um, in my opinion, this part of Norway looks better without snow. Okay. Well, I've just put live weather now, so. Yeah, I as well. Just leave it as that. And it's just, I mean, it's a time of the year where it's a bit darker anyway, so. Yeah, I like that, but. Um, when you can see the lakes down there, it's looking it's looking better. Yeah. The trees are green. Oh. Oh, we've got Peter Heat on. That's fine. How high are you going to climb? Uh, 2,500. Okay. Yeah, let's climb that. Drops back to 2,000. Checked. Bypass can off now. Landing light off. Taxi light off. And now you can see in your flight plan um, how long it is to the top of descent. For mm -hmm. me, it's 8 minutes 11. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Christian, is it really that bad? Nah. I know it's it's a uh, it's a lot of darkness, yeah, but not oh, long I now. Some, yeah, some terrible turbulences. Now that was pilot induced. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. Let's have a look if you have that as well, and you go to this, come to the same position. You are a bit right of the of your track. Yeah, correcting. You can ac activate and uh, the autopilot pilot. Then. Yeah, and I will go in F mode. Yeah, that's a trim. Yeah, that's uh, the the elevator trim that you can hear. Um, what I was trying to find. Is Let's find this on. instrument lightings. What are you looking for? Yeah, instrument lightings. It was just a bit dark there a minute ago. It's all right now. Yeah, that's the the black one. Mm. Uh, the left one has two dials. You can uh, dial on the big one and on the small one. Mm. The uh, big one yeah. is the background yeah. lighting. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Nice. Let's go to the outside of here. Well, I'm sure they've had some snow here in Norway. Of course. What's the speed? Uh, 155, it seems. Okay. I'm a bit too fast for you. Mm -hmm. 166. No worries. Um, all right, so let's go have a look at the flight plan. So it's really you have your condition condition level too high. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we landing one five or three three. One five. One five. Okay, so we're all flying the airport and do a visual. Um. Normally we do a straight in. We pr already prevented in the GPS. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, I, I just I was looking the other way around all the time, and then I pressed flight plan, and it changed the map the other way around. So I thought we're flying yeah. towards the north, but we're not flying towards no. the south. <laughs> yeah, you can you can change it if you like. If it is uh, a little little bit uh, distracting for you that you are ha have heading up, you can also set north up. No, like it's fine. It was just weird. I can, I can see the, the error, the north. It's just all the time I was like, you know, in the flight plan mode. And uh, so I was looking like, you know, 
going down and then uh, suddenly I changed the picture <laughs> and then I thought okay I'm going north how weird when you press uh, me the menu button and then you press the enter there you can set heading up or north up if you more like north up then you can change that you mean map options or map options yeah exactly press the enter button on the map options oh not not there okay. um press the menu button then you see map se see oh map that. settings yeah map settings yeah map settings then press enter on map settings okay and then you can go north up track up or north up okay exactly yeah ah cool Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Wow, some cool stuff here in the uh, add-on. You need some time to figure out all that, um, but it has so much uh, functions, it's very nice. Mm. I like it. Yeah, there's a bit of turbulence here now. I, uh, I was flying at 160 and immediately I was at 180 and the aircraft was pushed up about 500 feet. Okay. What's a big turbulence. Hey Daniel, you live down under if it's 6 o'clock in the morning or where? Asia somewhere? sounds early right so um, what do you think about the flight model Brandel here in the Kodiak I like it it's, it's flying very good very stable sometimes a, a bit twitchy how you always say mm. but I think it's okay The developer said uh, there were some um, pilots from the, 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 from the original developer of the aircraft mm. tested it, and they said it's it's nice. So, mm. yeah, it's <laughs> I don't know why they would say that. It's oh, I don't know. I mean, if so you look three minutes for me, yeah. so. So if you put like, you know, very gentle inputs, the aircraft, that, but that's Microsoft. It's not really the add-on itself, that's Microsoft yeah. Dynamics. You see, it's just the way it, it, uh, it changes direction and so on. It's, yeah, just no inertia, but. But apparently they are working on fixing it, so. I think the, the developer of the add-on can not do very much about that. It's mm. from the simulator. Mm. I, you know, that's why I've got such high, or I'm so interested to see how the PNG 737 will actually fly, so hand fly. And the thing is this, so people will have a comparison regarding P3D with the PNG 737 there or with the Zebo mod in X-Plane. So they have a direct comparison that they can uh, you know, use. So that's going to be interesting to see. The expectations will be high and uh, yeah, we'll see how it flies. I hope they will not disappoint all the fans. Mm. Yeah, if you change sensitivity curves, yeah, you have to you're kind of manipulating the input. So literally what you're doing, you're showing a certain input and the aircraft then will only use like a third of the input that you, you're setting. Yeah, it's, it's, you could do that. But, um, but when you change that, you change it for all aircraft. Yeah, it's exactly. Just, uh, yeah, very bad. Yeah, that's the thing, right? So I'm I'm using FSU IPC for that, and so I can set its profiles for every aircraft type. Mm. It's a bit better, in my opinion. If you like, like box, you can already dial in the okay, new altitude of seven seven hundred. Okay. And press Vnav. Oh, hang on. Let's get the autopilot back on. 
Um, are you on Q and H one zero zero four? Now I am. Nice. So vertical speed. Uh, the question didn't register. That's interesting. Um, so sorry. Yeah. Why? What was the, the question then? Let me just see. Um, You should activate Wiener Flakos and okay. uh, the aircraft to do the descent by yep. itself. There we go. Here comes the profile. And then we'll do Wiener. Found it. Um, okay. And pull back on the power a bit. So, Seran, was it? Okay, let me just find the question. Is it further up somewhere? Let me see. One more tip for the aircraft. Mm -hmm. If you like, you can uh, when the when the descent begins, you can set the condition lever to low. It helps a bit by for the decelerating. Mm -hmm. And you. on taxi, you don't need um, high as well. Uh, you mean version of Microsoft regarding um, if it's the. Uh, so the one with the 787 and so on. Uh, I think I upgraded to the highest tier, yes. So right now I think I have the highest. Oh, there's the runway. GG. Yeah. Some flaps. Thank you, uh, thank you, Megas. Yeah. Thank you so much. Right, that's really convenient. I have to push on the brakes very hard, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> there, she's overtaking me there. GG. <laughs> well, that's not you, Brennell, is it? Maybe, yes, I am. Okay. Why are you lower than me? I don't know. So I've just pressed B for the... It's not much, though. You can also press approach button if you like. Okay. It's a kind of enough approach. What's the speed? Um, 80 knots. Okay. Let's see if I can land ahead of you. <laughs> so just make sure that I don't crash into you. Yeah, no problem. I don't have any collision on. Wow, that's a really convenient uh, feature here. Lovely. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. So it's got six knot crosswind. Uh, Megas, yeah, you can use that, yeah. So if you've installed the add-on, yeah. And that's what I'm using as well. Huh. You are five meters in front of me. Oh, right okay. Now. I don't know. What, I'll uh, won't break hard then. Runway one five identified. Got a little bit off the runway. 
it's hard to see the runway when it's uh, snow covered like this. Okay, let's turn around. Have you tried the replay function? No, not yet. No. Is there any? Well, I think there's. An, I know that there's a uh, an add-on you can buy for that. Maybe. Also, I'm one, yeah. I think this is actually Rex. What's it called? Rex uh, something. <laughs> With the trees. Rex Ecu season. Oh. I've always wondered if it's actually working. Okay. Come on, the apron. Mm -hmm. So someone is landing. Let's get off the apron here. Oh, the runway. Want to do another one? Yeah, sure. If you have the okay. time. Yeah, one. I, th I think one more we can do, but uh, not three. No, no, that's it's fine. Too late for me. Yeah, I that's have fine. To work tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, then I'll file the next uh, plan. Romeo Kilo to Juliet Bravo. Uh, but hang on, but Megas, is that an add-on or is that a new feature here in Microsoft? There's a recorder in Microsoft Dev Mode. A camera. Yeah, I have, this is Dev Mode, yeah. So where do I find it? First tab. Def mode. Enable. <laughs> I'm, I'm blind. What? Oh, there we go. Yeah, somebody said first tab. It wasn't the first tab. It's an options. Okay, thanks. I didn't. I didn't even know that that's a new thing here. Okay. Did you know that, Brendel? There's a replay function now in development. Oh. No? Yeah. Really, that's one. Yeah. So if you have the dev mode active, go to options, and then uh, you can tick um, enable replay mode or replay panel. Oh, I did not know but that. you have to do it before the landing, and then you can replay. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that does help, I think. But maybe I can do the next one then, next landing. Yeah, maybe. Okay, you can go on menu and do uh, delete flight plan. Yeah. So. And then you can enter the next one in the same way. Yeah. So it's Echo November Romeo Kilo. Uh, system could not. Oh, okay. Uh, the uh, Juliet Bravo is the destination. Let's try it. So, uh, we will do runway 18, I think. Right, so it's running. So echo number Romeo Kilo, enter, enter. Hmm. Oh man, I'm you haven't deleted the flight plan, right? Uh, so menu, do you flight yeah. plan? Yeah, no, exactly. That's the easiest way, there we go. Um, okay. 
Then press procedure, select uh, approach. So you don't put a departure airport in. No. Uh, the, yeah, it's a Kodiak, yeah. It's a Kodiak. It's, uh, do, do not need. If you uh, want to use uh, SID, then you can also um, use select departure. But for this little airport here, there is no SID. Okay. And, and otherwise, just does uh, straight line then from present position. Uh, it's a kind of visual flying here, and uh, the autopilot helps a little bit with that. So you don't need a full flight plan for the flight. Mm -hmm. uh, Megas, you have to get to it in a second. Hang on. Uh, so what do I set? Visual 18 or 36? 18. 18. And straight. Always straight. Roger. Uh, we'll uh, draw a long final. Activate. OK. All right. Cool. Ready. Ready. Mm -hmm. OK, so uh, start. So yeah, what you have to do now so this is replay mode, okay? And then what you need to do? Already? Or when I when I do the approach? Camera track recording, s sequence recording. Ooh. Do you need to put anything else? Set sequence location or something, or okay, interesting. Right. So, set condition level to max again, mm -hmm. and check the trim. Oh, see if it is in the middle. Flaps one. And then we can take off again. Okay. And reset altitude to 2500. Which is our new cruise um, altitude. And then we can go. Yep. That's a DC 6 flying around. <laughs> nice. I don't even see that. So you're taxing down or you're taking off right now? Taking off right now. Okay. After takeoff, we do a, a right turn. Okay. And go to course. A lot of right rudder, as always. from that. Lee, mach's gut, vielen Dank. Ja, alles Gute für deine Prüfung. <laughs> yeah, Thursday. And I hope I get uh, a lot of things updated by that time. All right, flaps coming up. experience for you black box to fly below the clouds right yep absolutely but uh i like it yes it's nice yeah. i can imagine going you know back uh vifa flying and really enjoying it i mean when uh when we did the flights with herbert i enjoyed those as well I find that really yes, nice that's very nice yeah but you have some limitations huh? yeah of course yeah the weather's not that good, you can't fly, unfortunately. Yeah. But I mean, I don't find that, uh, you know, that terrible. It's just the way it is, um, so. All right, so let's I think go. In bad weather, it is no, f no fun to fly, and uh, it's, it's not allowed as well. Mm. You are not allowed 
to to stitch through the uh, clouds, you have to stay below. No. But when you are in air and the conditions are getting bad, then you have a problem. Yeah, but I mean, space, you have, you yeah, have to land anywhere, and you can't go home. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it's uh, it's all to pre-planning, right? Um, and uh, have, you know, plan B. Uh, so if, if things get worse, weather gets worse, let's say it's a very convective day with thunderstorms or something, well, you know, plan B. And then, uh, yeah, you may have to land somewhere in between and and just accept it, you know, not be so goal-minded. Goal um. You can't, you can't. Uh, if the weather goes uh, worse, then you have to land. Mm. Yeah. It's not possible to fly them. Yeah. But I think maybe some people will, you know, just, well, try very hard to, to reach a destination and then go into risks, uh, you know, take on risks yeah. that they shouldn't. So. VFR fly into IMC is not a good idea. It mostly ends with that. Yeah. It's not good. Have you seen the video with the glider a uh, month ago, which got into uh, IMC conditions and barely survived? Yeah, wasn't it where the where the student took over then? Because the student was sitting yeah, in the front, I, I, and uh, yeah, yeah, that wow, that was scary. I mean, they were so close to death. Jeez, it was yes. And there are so many um, examples of people which crashed their aircraft in IMC conditions. Hmm. You yeah. should never go into that if you don't have an IMC and an IFR rating yeah. and the, the appropriate um, instruments for that. Yeah. And the thing is that, I mean, gliders don't normally have artificial horizons because, like I say, they're not supposed to go into clouds. Um, yeah. But I mean, you know, a normal Cessna, even if it's not IFR rated, will have an artificial horizon. So really, if you go for short periods of time, uh, go into um, the clouds. You should not, you know, you should not get so disorientated that you crash. Uh, anybody has a link for the YouTube video? Uh, maybe someone has. Let me see. Otherwise, I'll, I'll switch myself. You said it's so easy, Black Box. There are many people got into IMC and um, they begun to, um, to be. Uh, I can't tell it in English. Um, they have their instruments misgraut. Yeah, so they didn't trust instruments, yeah. Yeah, and uh, they hit on their butt meter mm. and mm. got into the, the spiral of death and crashed onto the, into the earth. Yeah. Do you know, Brenda, what, was, what that video was called by any chance? No, I think if you uh, search for glider IMC on and crash, then you will find it. Yeah, there even it's an, it's a near crash. Yeah, yeah, I found it. So here's the link. Hang on. Uh, big ears. Yeah, the thing is, I am optimistic that. Um, you know, things will calm down again and, and I'll get, you know, the Sims running uh, properly again. Um, and we're going to have some good add ons coming out. Um, so there's going to be, you know, some great new content being able to be produced um, right now. It's, it's kind of a, a dry phase. And for me, you know, switching from Twitch to YouTube, which has caused a lot of uh, issues as well. Um, and uh, then with the problems of P3D, that was really, really time consuming. So, um, uh, yeah, but I'm optimistic that it'll all calm, calm down again. And then, uh, you know, we offer our to our normal kind of streaming um, concept, you know, with learning more about aviation and so on. So, you know, I'll have more time again to do that. It is beautiful here. Love it. Yes, it is very beautiful. And later on, on the next and more airports it will getting more beautiful as mm. well nice. and on the next leg uh, we will do in the next uh, in one of the next streams we will do an ANAF approach like demanded nice 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 nice
Yeah, yeah, looking forward to that. Not, not, not an airport, and uh, this one uh, is enough capable. Nice. <laughs> Big ears, you know what? It is something, patience is something I don't, I'm not really good at either, but um, I don't know, maybe it's my age. At some point, it just, uh, like, it, it still annoys you, but um, it just, yeah, you become a little bit more relaxed about it. You, you know, it's, I, I try my hardest, right? So, you know, I'm not sitting there, um, you know, just not doing nothing. No, I've spent hours and hours trying to fix things. Um, and then, uh, well, it was a little bit like a success story having, uh, you know, gotten things running. It's just a shame today there were some minor issues again. It seems like some driver issues on the Windows 10 set, um, setting. But again, I'm optimistic. We'll get it running and then uh, all be good. That is beautiful here. Oh, no, the airport right below us there. Yeah, that's the one where we, we started today. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> I really have to think about that. Really? Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm lost. Yeah, sorry for anyone that 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 uh, writes here in, in in a language we can't read. Then yeah, it'll be deleted. Thank you, Magus, because we don't know what what they're actually writing. So we can enter final approach, fix altitude of four hundred feet, or maybe three hundred feet. Mm -hmm. Then press VNAV again. And the aircraft will do this descent by its own. It's incredible. Yeah, so it's uh, nicely programmed that uh, turn to final as well. That's really nice. Yeah. Very comfortable. <laughs> Flights and dead. Yeah, I know, right? Now, I guess I've been fortunate enough to be able to test a lot of things. Uh, so BDFS Labs, which I was able to help out with and, and test, and then the Phoenix. Ah, there we go. Ah, yeah, ah, there we go. It's, it's, I don't know, you know, when it's like normally, so before I had the issues, it was like maybe 20% looking after your flight sims, installing stuff, and then 80% producing content. Right now, it's like 90% fixing things, reinstalling things, and only 10%, you know, creating content. So, yeah, I've, you know, it's completely off the charts. So completely going the wrong way for me at the moment. So, yeah, I'll, uh, again, I'm, I'm optimistic. We'll get things uh, working. Um, but then again, I mean, like with YouTube, I've understood the concept now regarding how to prepare streams, how to start streams, end streams and so on. Um, we've got all the the commands set up, the, the, the ask bot is working as well. So, you know, it's it's progressing. So we're getting there. But um... <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, and it's just, I don't know, it's so bizarre sometimes, you know, you do your best and it looks fixed and initially all runs fine talk about the first flight today and then suddenly bam crash the desktop all right you recover you descend and then all you do is look forward to you know fi doing the final approach and then you click on what you always do on the other window you know just to to check the streaming window or you know look at the charts in, in sim toolkit pro and suddenly bam it switched the main monitor to black all right these sort of things i'm like what's happening <laughs> you know why is it doing it or then i go into the pmdg normally you know, Microsoft, if it's running, you know, you, you're fairly safe. Um, and I, I checked, I even checked for the updates in PMDG today, right? So I do have a certain experience and I make sure, okay, uh, I check the updates. There was no updates, neither for the operation center nor for the, the DC-6. I load in the plane and I actually did a takeoff and an approach into um, 
the airport this afternoon just to check the sceneries because I got an, an add-on scenery for it. All worked fine. And then I go and fly it on stream and suddenly, yeah, the fuel dumps out or I can't get the engine power or, you know, then, then people say, oh, there's an update. And I'm like, no, there's not. Look, check the update or there's no update. Oh, no, it's in the forums. Yeah, oh, yeah like, hey, hey, what forum? You know, I don't. I don't check forums all the time. I, I you know, it didn't say in the initial uh, offering of the of the software. Hey, you know, be aware that uh, you need to check the forums uh, because you run into you know problems otherwise. So yeah, it's just bizarre sometimes. And and uh... <laughs> three times for the third time. Yeah, I know, right. And there we go, down we go, fantastic. Starting this VNAV descent. Hey Windows, how are you doing? Or the same thing, right? So you, you buy a new PC and you get Windows 11 because you think, all right, it's been out for a while, so it should be fairly stable. I haven't heard any major issues. And I'm reading some reports, you know, people having uh, Windows 11 and running P3D. Yeah, it's all fine. So I order Windows 11 and yeah, the problems start. And, you know, troubleshooting hours and hours and hours, installing Windows 10, suddenly finding, hey, that works there. Same same computer, same hardware, same BIOS setting. And Windows 10, fantastic. Windows 11, no joy. Uh, Adamika, that's really kind. Um, but yeah, but then again, I mean, we've lost uh, we've lost some community members. You can see that in the, in the viewer numbers and so on. Um, so they're, they're not they're not following onto YouTube or maybe they got a bit fed up with the, the issues that I'm having. Um, but that's just the way it is. Right. Look at the scenery. Lovely sunset. There's the airport. So I'm going to start slowing down here because we are going to fly the approach in a minute. Let's scroll down. 1,000. 1,000 is checked. First set of flaps. And we're going to put the props to full forward. I have to admit, it's, it, that's really impressive the way it handles the, the NAF. Really nice. I have here some difficulties to see what is the runway. Mm -hmm. It's snow covered, right? And and what is the grass? Mm. Yeah, normally when you get closer to it, you will find uh, some contours. Yeah, let's have a look. If you can see, I mm. can't see. <laughs> All right, and four flaps. Yeah, well, you know what, uh, Adamika, I'm not really that worried um, because I have my my plans for the future, and uh, you know, some of the plan will be definitely spend more time in creating content and not s spending so much time having to fix things. Five hundred. Yeah, for black box, there's a lot of crosswind. Mm -hmm. For me, sixty knots crosswind. Oh, really? I have which ten. is a lot for a Kodiak. Yeah, I have a ten at the moment. Right, so. Just, just wonder if the path is correct here because of the. It does look a bit low there. It's a problem. Um, it is an art artificial um, approach here. Mm. You, it is not guaranteed that this approach part is free of obstacles, mm. like in an ANAF approach. You have to watch by your own now if it weren't for you guys i would not have thought that's a runway there i mean i can there's some trees in front of the runway as well yeah and yeah, that's a problem with uh, no uh, no scenery standard scenery yeah. in real life there wouldn't be some oh. trees yeah but you're right it's uh, quite challenging yeah.
Yes. Oh! Wow, that was a big gust there. GG's. Heavy winds and gusting are difficult in the cold here. 50. 40. Yeah, what I'm missing is some numbers. So there we are. 30. There's the runway. Wow, there's a lot of aileron. I'm l I'm full left rudder, so it's like it's trying to weather wane completely into the wind here. I think Reynolds, uh, you already had uh, posted about something about this, correct? Yeah. You can control this manual weather. Put in 18 kilometers per hour wind crosswind, oh. and then you are unable to take off. Oh. Wow. But we made it safely. Very good. Have a look to the wind sack here. There you will see it's a lot of wind. Huh. And a yeah, little bit cross. Yeah. Yes, Aaron, thank you much for the feedback. I mean, I know the... So the upload and everything, that's really stable. It tells me that as well. So it's it's not YouTube anything, you know, that's that causing issues. It's, it's just the flight simulators themselves that are causing issues. And when they cause issues, obviously, then it's hard for me to provide, you know, good content. Um, but we'll see. It's one of those. It's one of those dry spells. I think uh, at the moment, it happens in life. Sefa Wave, thank you so much for staying. Good night to you. Into your lot of uh, smart cars, how many? How how um, high was your touchdown rate? Uh, minus seventy-two. Wow, excellent! Well, that was that was lucky though. Like three three hundred eleven for me, which is almost a crash for a Kodiak. Oh, how tricky! Yeah. Right. But I haven't really seen where the runway was. Oh, replay! Yeah, you're right. Uh, so yeah, thanks for reminding me. So, what do I do then? I put stop, and then I can play. And time control, so... Oh! Lol. <laughs> Oops. That's, that looks a bit weird. <laughs> so, I can scroll forward. Oh, I can scroll forward as well. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, God. Now, if that, if that doesn't crack... I was just about to say, if that doesn't crash the desktop, then I don't know. Then I would be very impressed if it crashed the desktop. Yeah. <laughs> I you should not, you should not drag the slider all the way. Better is to click in, then the aircraft jumps to the next location. It's oh. better, I think. <laughs> yeah, Magus, I think it's it's yeah, it's probably better. Like Bre Brennell says, just press forward until you you hit the right spot. Oh dear. Well, that's that's kind of fitting for the for the stream. <laughs> Uh, what a, what a... Nice, the DC six is coming in. It's just one of the viewers, I think. Nick Nick. Nick Nick. Nick yeah. Nick. Hope he has a good landing, because I'm like crash the desktop. Looks good, but it's an early landing. I don't know if there's already a, le a, a runway. <laughs> nice. Hey Norbert, oh nice, lovely. Yeah, man, I, I do like this old aircraft. I really do. If you if you ever have the chance of flying one of those as a passenger, for example, or um, you know. At least be very close to it. So when you hear those sounds, you feel the vibrations in your lungs, and you know you smell the the the, uh, the fumes and so on. It's just wow. It's just something else. <laughs> pull up, pull up. Yeah, guys, you have to be careful with spamming uh, caps. My my stream bot, <laughs> stream lads bot, he doesn't like it. Uh, I will get that fixed, but right now it's not. It, it just likes to time people out. Right. Uh, next stream is on Thursday. Now I'm going to use the time, A, to relax a little bit, um, and then B, um, yeah, to to see if I can get these, the sim, especially P3, to, to run a bit uh, smoother. However, 
I am looking forward to doing another shared flight on stream and I'm aiming to do this. So it's X-Plane 11, which is uh, obviously the most stable one really, uh, which is great. And um, yeah, we'll we'll find uh, a lovely person to fly along um, in, uh, yeah, in a shared flight. I don't know. Already released. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, Arthur Biko, do you have a shared flight <laughs> of a stands? Yeah, so the idea would be to go in and fly to Tolis again in shared flight. And of course, on, on Vatsim or something, that would be great. Shared yeah, flight already released? Uh, no, we, but, but they have expanded their um, their beta base, so a lot of oh, people. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely person, I don't know anyone around here. Oh dear. Alex, yeah, thanks for, for joining. Yeah, thanks so much. Right, thank you, Brendel, once again for your support. Uh, thanks for the Vifa flying here as well. And then Riri Rosi, thank you much for five euros as well from you. Thank you for everyone that has become a member today. Thanks for supporting, even though it's a tough time at the moment, I have to admit. But... All right, reconnection was successful. Okay, so it, it, it's that's another thing, right? Just be disconnected quickly and now reconnected. All right. Uh, good night, Windows. Yeah, thank you much. Thank you so, so much. And uh, Sarah, and same to you. Thanks for supporting. <laughs> uh, there was one question regarding uh, regarding Phoenix. I think somewhere. Flats and that. Thank you so much for the kind words. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it does build character. That's true. That's true. Um... Yeah, my dear moderators, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, thanks for helping out, and thanks for uh, kind of you know boosting my morale as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Cool. Right, next stream is on Thursday. Um, I will see you soon. And uh, stay well, everyone. That's the important thing. Stay safe. Stay well. All right, guys. Good night. Take care. Thanks so much.